everybody. Welcome back to the farm. We have another long day in the cab. You ready? Now, if I'm being completely honest with you guys, it's not morning time anymore. In fact, we have been harvesting all day. It is about 3 p.m. right now, and I thought I would bring you along for the tail end of my day and into the night. We've still got all afternoon to go and well into night, so really, the day is just starting. We are harvesting corn, and as you can see from our moisture counter right up here, it's pretty dry, 14% moisture. And so far, things seem to be working pretty well. We're using a brand new John Deere 16 row corn head, new to us this fall, and a John Deere S780 combine. It's a couple years old, but still pretty new, and it does a really great job. The weather in Nebraska has been super hot and dry, which is good for corn harvesting conditions, but also really bad because it increases our risk of uh, fires. I don't even really want to say that word out loud because it seems to happen every fall around us. We don't get a lot of rain and everything is dry and dusty and there's a lot of moving parts out here and it's really hot and fires seem to start and usually end up with really tragic endings. So. We want to be very careful. We have a tractor with a disc hooked up just in case anything would happen. We would be very ready to disc up all of our crops if, if it means saving our farm and the lives of other people. So we just want to be very, very careful and mindful. Our regular crew is out here. I'm in the combine. Gage is in the grain cart. We have our other hired man in the other grain cart. And a very rare occurrence, we have no truck drivers today. And that is because instead of hauling our grain away, we are actually hauling it to our on-farm storage. And we don't need any trucks to do that. So we are just transporting the grain directly from the combine, transferring it into the grain cart, and then taking it from the grain cart directly to our bin site where we are going to store it, and then bring it into town at a later date. That could be in a couple weeks, a couple months, or even a couple years. Gage has a full cart, headed to the bin site to dump. Perfect timing, just got done unloading. I really try hard not to complain because I love what I get to do. I think harvest season is one of the most exciting times of the entire year. But you're driving something constantly, whether you're driving the combine or a grain cart or a truck or a pickup truck to try and get people from field to field. And I have a pinched nerve in my back right now, like right under my left shoulder blade. And it kind of feels like someone stabbed me in the back with a knife. And when I'm standing, it's fine, but sitting in the driving position is what really kills me. And taking a full deep breath in really hurts. And so I am trying to push through it, but I have to say, that is my complaint for the day. There's a lot of people out there who are dealing with a lot worse pain than I am, but right now, Breathing is kind of hard. My back really hurts, but look at the views I get to have. This is my little six by six cube, my little slice of paradise, my home office. On a much brighter note, my Stanley is full of iced coffee and I'm ready to go all night. I am not even close to all the way full and I've got almost 20,000 pounds sitting behind me. I am well over 20,000 pounds just in grain behind me when I'm full, which is just a wild concept. I think it's about 12 tons in total when I'm all of the way full. So it's no wonder when I'm driving through the field and bouncing over rows, everything just feels so big and heavy. 
As you can see, we have fairly small bin extensions on top. So we can actually hold more grain in the hopper than if this was just completely stock. But there is so much bigger bin extensions out there. I know a guy who has super max capacity hopper extensions on his combine and he can put almost 20 tons of corn behind him. It's kind of weird being alone. Like I said, literally in this six by six cube, but I don't feel alone because I know I've got you riding with me. And there's something really, really fun about that, that I get to share the job that I do every day with you guys. And it really gives me a sense of gratitude and wonder for the things I get to do every day. So just know I am very grateful to have all of you guys along for the ride with me. And I hope you are having just as much fun and learning just as much as I am because we're really in this together. It's been a super nice day weather-wise today. I mean, I've kind of been in cab all day, but from what I can tell, it's really nice outside. And I have a feeling we're going to have a really pretty sunset. If you're ever listening to me talk, but you find yourself getting distracted by this shiny red thing right here, you might be wondering what it is. Hopefully, I never, ever, ever have to use this, but this is a seat cutter combo window breaker. So if there would ever be an emergency where the combine would tip over, fall into a sinkhole, I get locked inside of here, a fire starts, I get in an accident, something terrible that I pray never, ever happens, this is my emergency tool right here so that I can get out of my seatbelt, I can break the window, and I can escape this combine. This thing is kind of a really expensive death trap if something goes wrong. Definitely not the best visibility right now just because it's really dusty. So I'm having to pay extra close attention to make sure I'm not plugging up on any of my rows. Oh, there's the pivot road right there. But I can see pretty far out in front of me and to the sides. So that's nice. That will definitely change once the sun goes down because the dust levels stay the same and we lose all of our sunlight. It can get a little spooky out here after dark. You feel like you're the only person in the face of the planet. It's really weird. Not the best visibility right now can't really tell if the green card is full or not. I'm just kind of going by vibes right now. I think it's getting full. Maybe, hopefully I don't spill anything. Can you guys see anything? Do you guys want to know a secret? If you twist this, it expands. And then you twist it again to lock it into place or you untwist and drop it down. Kind of cool, right? It also tilts like this and like this. Maximum adjustment in here. John Deere definitely did not spare any expenses when it came to cab comforts. I not only have seat adjustment, but I have a seat heater and cooler. Isn't that wild? What's crazy is that hours will pass by here in the cab. As you can see, it's about seven o'clock now. The sun is setting. And it just occurred to me that I haven't had any music on all day. I've just been sitting here in silence. It's wild. Occasionally I let out a little scream because no one can hear me and my back hurts. But besides that, and me talking to you and the conversations I've had on the radio, it's just silent. Just me and the machine trying to listen to it, feel the vibrations, make sure nothing is going wrong. I want everything to be running smoothly. It's through a very dirty door, but we are seeing the beginning of a very pretty sunset, just like I predicted. Somewhere out in front of me, hidden in this field, is an abandoned wellhead. It's totally out of commission, not used anymore, but I don't really know where it is. And like I mentioned previously, this is a brand new corn head worth several hundred thousand dollars. And so you better believe my head is on a constant swivel because finding that thing with a snoot is pretty much my worst nightmare, especially with visibility the way that it is. Can you imagine I'm just going along my merry little way and I run a well through the corn head? 
I think that would definitely be grounds for firing me from combine operator. And I really, really do not want that to happen. I like this job, I wanna keep it. I have committed the cardinal sin, cab corn. Ugh, that's so embarrassing. I really thought I could make it, and I'm so close. I know it doesn't look like it, but I'm so close to the end of the field and I have to unload for a second time, which is a good problem. It means that our corn is so good, I just can't make it a full pass. We're also just intaking so much grain with this 16 row corn head. It's baffling, honestly. The sun is setting low in the sky. I think it's finally time. Lights are officially on. I've got this thing lit up like a Christmas tree, and this is just on the actual combine. There's lights on the corn head too. Harvest is a really bittersweet time of year because on one hand, I'm really sad that summer is over and the sun is setting sooner and sooner every single day and it's getting colder. But on the other hand, I'm getting to harvest what we worked so hard for all year long and actually see the point of all of our hard labor. So it's kind of bittersweet. There it is, folks, the well. I didn't run into it. I just barely saw it though. Thank goodness we got plenty of lights. Because the dust is just hanging in the air and I'm unloading. And I'll be honest, it is really hard to see much of anything out here. Okay, I'm pretty sure Gage said the well ad is up here, but like I said, the visibility is literally so bad. So we're just going super, super slow. And there it is. Whew. All right, time to pick up and cut around that. 
Like I said, a lot of a visibility difference between harvesting in the middle of the afternoon to now past dark. My visibility only goes as far as my lights and the dust makes it a little bit tricky. What? I can see my screens pretty well. Laura! Grant! Uh, Are you ready to go all night long? What is that? That's my... Don't look at <laughs> is it. Is that it's, your supper? It's <laughs> my dinner. It's... I don't know. It's like... That's a really small banana. 9 p.m. This is my dinner. You didn't bring anything with you, did you? No. Empty... Empty-handed? It's a rough life. This is all we got, folks. We're going all night. How's it going in here? It is going pretty well. I will say we we're making jokes about the banana being my supper. I did not plan ahead super well in the sense that I am a tad bit hungry, but I'm guessing that you were asking how the combining was going, not how I was doing personally. I am not concerned with your physical needs. Yeah, Just... I I, like my back kind of hurts a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Um, the actual combining itself is going pretty well. I did have one weird situation where just one row plugged. Randomly? Bit. Yeah, randomly, but it was like all the corn stalks stayed up standing really straight. And I backed up and they fed themselves through and it was totally fine. That's been the only issue I've encountered. I cut around that well. I did not smash any snoots. Oh, nice. Someone's still got to be the first one to smash the snoots on this No thing. snoots have been smashed on the new corn hut yet. I did have my first cab corn, though. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. I thought I could make it through. I was watching my counter. I was like at 95% of the way full, and I was, I'd already cut in and dumped, and I was like, oh, I think I can make it. And I did not, I was not. Wasn't able so to lucky, make it. huh? No, not so lucky. So then I had to do like the unload of shame where I could see the end of the field, but I had to back, run over corn. The grain cart had to run over corn. And unload. It, yeah, it was kind of a mess. But other than that, we've just been going back and forth. We're on mile-long rows. It's been relatively quiet around here, which no news is good news. So, yeah. Other great news, we got our other truck back. The Kenworth had the clutch go out. It's back. It's ready no to go. way. So, just in time. So, tomorrow we can haul to town and not the bin. The bin's almost full. Uh, so, things are going well. The corn's yielding very well. It's dry. And that is perfect. That is excellent. Yeah, we've been dumping just straight into the bin, like I said. So now we need to get our truck drivers back here. Yep. Where we've been kind of a, a lonely operation. It's time to add all our people back it's in. It's been so nice not to have to worry about trucks going to the bins. It bins is so are true. very convenient. Definitely. At nighttime, I feel like you can actually see how dusty it is out here. And this goes to show a lot of the reasons why we do the kind of maintenance that we do every single day. Every morning we get out here and we fuel up the combine with diesel and DEF, but we also blow out the air filters and blow off the entire combine because this thing is just sucking dust out. So I'm doing some mental calculations right now. I'm 78% full, you can tell by my disco lights. And this is my turn tracker so it tells me how long before the end of my auto steer line and when I'll have to turn. I'm 80% full but I've still got over 450 feet left and I'm trying to figure out if I can make it or not. Better I think, just, I think, just put the auger on. You think so? Yeah. I was going to try and go for it. I'll slow down. You're, you're probably right. I fill it faster than I think. This is pretty good corn. We obviously haven't done the true calculations on it but I think we're averaging over 250 bushels an acre, which is way better than last year. We did catch a lot of early rains, which is really nice. All right, Gage, get up here. Let's unload. Are we sure that's Gage? Actually, I don't really know who anybody is at this point. I guess it's dark out here. Those lights are blinding. We're all kind of flying blind here. Well, I know it's been a while since I've actually been on camera. It's just, we've been so busy with other things. I haven't had time to personally film but hey, I'm in the cart, so I got all the time in the world. A couple things I want to talk about. Our new corn head, it's awesome. I, I haven't got around the combine yet, but as of right now of running the cart next to it, I, I could tell everyone's gonna like it. The noticeable features are 
there's like little rollers on the side that help bring in the stock, I should say, or like helps reduce yield loss from the ear falling out. I think I'm not a pro. And also at the ends of the snoots on the ends, on the end rows, the tips of them line up, which is really nice because it makes it easy for me to see when Laura grants all the way down to the other end of the field where the edge of the corn head is so I can make my line to where I need to go down. Yeah, I know it's been a while. I got to meet some of you guys at um, Husker Harvest Days at Farm Progress, which is kind of cool. That's a first for me that I've been to a meet and greet. I really appreciate it. I love you guys. You kind of talked me up, um, but I really appreciate all of that. I'm hoping to film more and hoping that I can, I get more of a, more screen time. Yeah, more screen time. I've just been so busy just doing all the little projects to get harvest ready and all of that, that I don't have time to film. I'd say I'm not the worst filmer. I'll film clips. You'll just, you can kind of notice that I'll be filming. If Grant and Laura are doing something, you know, I'll video them. I'm hoping to personally film more. I know I said that a lot, but I'm excited. I've graduated now, um, so I'm full time. I get to experience a lot of stuff. This is the first harvest that I've actually been an entire part of. Get up every day, come out here, run cart for them, which I love. I can sit in a tractor all day and be completely fine. I'm hoping that we get to do a lot more stuff now that we have a lot more help as of me. They don't, they aren't stressing to get stuff done during the day. I'm hoping I can help relieve that stress. And yeah, I'm hoping I'll get a new phone and I'll film more. My phone's not good, so I have to use one of Grant or Laura's to film, so. On the ends, we have these little glow lights. They're so cute. If you didn't notice, there's a ranger over there, but we couldn't see it, but we knew where the end was because we had little lights. Luckily. This is our first time running the corn head at night like this. And I know it's fall and it's harvest time, spooky season, but they kind of look like little Christmas trees. And I think it's really, really cute. I think they look like candy corn. Oh, there you go. That's a good way to look at it.
done with this field. It's getting late. Honestly, I'm kind of tired and hungry, but we just have one pass after this one. Feeling pretty good. We are on the last pass of the day. How's everybody feeling? Ready to finish strong? We did finish the field, but we ended with a plug. So that is less than ideal. But when you go really late at night, it just gets really tough. So kind of inevitable. But thank you so much for sticking with me through harvest at nighttime in the dark. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And we'll be back again tomorrow for even more harvesting. So thanks for watching today's video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.